Georgia Republican Tom Price is chairman of the Republican Study Committee and also a member of the House Financial Services Committee. Good morning, sir, down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, what's wrong with what the hey, White Bill, House is trying to, to do? We all know what the, the carnage in the economy that was left on the floor over the past two years. Why not crack down? Well, I think there's a lot of suspicion on the part of the American people uh, in a government that now owns automobile companies and has uh, passed a law to take over the health care sector. What are they going to do in the financial sector? And the bill that's on the table, the one that the president apparently supports, would continue the bailout mentality, does nothing to rein in Fannie and Freddie, which really were a lot of the problem in the housing market especially, and increases the regulatory oppression as opposed to making it more flexible and nimble and allowing the economy to work. So we believe that there ought to be appropriate reform, but we believe it ought to unleash the wonder and the beauty and the awe and the genius of the American economy as opposed to having the government control okay, every aspect. Let me get back to that point in a moment, but backtrack a little bit. If, if this were 2006 and what the Democrats are proposing right now uh, were on the table, let's say it was the law of the land. So what would happen with Lehman Brothers? What would happen with the Bear Stearns? Would we have avoided this mess? Uh, we, we might have avoided some of the, the downfall, but what would have happened is that the government would have, again, provided bailout. That means taxpayer money into uh, the bailout. There would have been uh, increasing control of the financial sector from the governmental standpoint, and it would have done nothing. In fact, it would have actually freed up uh, Fannie and Freddie to control more of the housing market than it did at that time, which was a real part of the problem. So we believe that there are uh, things that need to be changed, absolutely. But we believe that bailouts ought to end. The American people are sick and tired of the government bailing out private companies. We believe that the regulatory scheme ought to be flexible and nimble so that there aren't things that, that skirt to the side. Uh, and we believe that Fannie and Freddie ought to be reined in, that we ought not have the distortion to the uh, market in the area of housing. And to that point, what would Congress do to change itself? I've got an article here from September 1999 from the New York Times that talks about the changes that went forward in law that, that would help more Americans get a, get a loan so they could buy a home. So the rules for Fannie and Freddie were changed 11 years ago. What's the proposal to change those back? Well, what, the, what needs to happen, frankly, is that, is that the portfolio, the amount of money that Fannie and Freddie are able to back, needs to be decreased so that we don't have the taxpayer backing up these mortgages that, frankly, uh, many of which ought not have been provided. But, but right and now, currently we, now we, many right, of them at the moment, not. we're on the hook for trillions of dollars, right, with Fannie and Freddie as a backup. That's, that's exactly right. And, that, and, and that's wrong. That has distorted the market in such a way uh, that, that it makes it so that the whole housing industry is, is uh, on the precipice of being backed only by the federal government. And, and that's what the bill that's before us right now, the Dodd bill, the president's bill, whatever you want to call it, would in fact ensure is that a continuation of the bailout mentality and the federal government being involved in actually every aspect of the purchase of a home. Uh, so we don't believe that ought to occur. We think that, that, that the, there ought to be flexible and nimble regulation, but in fact the government ought not be providing any more bailouts and that they ought to get uh, Fannie and Freddie out of the business of, of uh, the large uh -huh. coverage of uh, the mortgage industry. Uh, I know you're on the House side. If this came to the floor in the Senate side, would, would a filibuster work for Republicans? Uh, would they do that? I think what will work for Republicans, because it'll work for Americans, is for us to say, look, the government is involved in, in very instrumental ways, in very specific ways in the, peop in the lives of the American people, in ways that none of us ever imagined. So whether it's buying uh, automobile companies, whether it's bailing out banks, whether it's controlling the health care arena, or whether it's controlling the financial sector, none of us ever dreamed that the federal government would be involved to that degree. And the American people want it stopped. Mm -hmm. That's why you sense the anger and the concern across this land. Uh, just one more thing here. Robert Gibbs over the weekend suggested that they, they want this done by uh, Memorial Weekend, uh, which would be the last weekend in May. Um, do, do you see that happening, or is another big bill, another big piece of legislation uh, not in the cards for this current Congress when you look at the, the electoral landscape? Well, it really depends, again, uh, as in health care, whether the Democrats want to represent their leadership or whether they want to represent their constituents. If they represent their constituents, their constituents are screaming at them to stop the madness, stop the government intrusion into our lives in so many ways that make it so that they don't recognize the federal government and they don't recognize their nation. All right, we're and that's watching, what they want stopped. We're watching this thing shape up, and we'll see whether or not there's a battle in the weeks ahead. Tom Price, thank you. Out of Georgia today. Thanks, Bill. You